Creating a website using Adobe Express. Adobe Express is an online graphic design tool. It can be used for creating many different multimedia projects, including one-page websites. Adobe Express has both a free and a paid plan. Using Adobe Express for free limits the use of the platform's free graphics, templates, and features. The premium version unlocks access to all the platform's features and graphics, as well as extra cloud storage for $9.99 US a month, or is included if you already have an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. Whichever plan you choose, you can publish your site for free. It will be hosted within Adobe Express, so you'll never have to pay for a domain. Creating websites in Adobe Express is relatively simple, no matter your previous experience with the tool. In this video, we will cover the basics of using Adobe Express to create a beautiful website. The first step to creating a compelling website is to write the content and collect any supplementary images or logos you'll be using. Adobe Express has a great stock photo library, but you won't always be able to find the perfect image for free, so it's better to be prepared. Once your content is nailed down, it's time to begin creating in Adobe Express. The first step is to log into your account. Go to www.express.adobe.com and press login if you already have an account. If not, you'll need to create one. To do this, click the sign up button. Now that you have access to the site, it's time to begin crafting your web page. To begin, click the purple plus sign button in the top left corner. This will open a window with a basic overview of all the things you can use Adobe Express for. Navigate down this list until you find web page. Clicking on this will bring you to a blank page with prompts to add a title and add a subtitle. The first thing we're gonna do is change our theme. Click on the word themes in the upper right corner of the screen. A drop-down menu will appear with 13 choices. Remember, your theme can be changed at any time. So don't worry if you can't decide right away. The theme will establish the look and formatting of your portfolio. So feel free to play around with different themes until you find one you are happy with. This will be the first thing a user will see when they get to your site. So add a title and subtitle that gets across the purpose of your web page. You can drag this text around the page where it can snap to nine possible locations. This will help the title pop against whatever background you choose. To add a background, go to the plus sign at the bottom of this page. You'll see three options pop up. Choosing photo will open the Adobe stock library. You can also upload a photo from your own computer or click the three dots at the top of this pop-up to add photos from alternate sources such as Dropbox, Google Photo, or Google Drive. When you've selected a photo, click on the background of your page and you'll get another menu. Here, you can make sure the right portion of your photo is visible by clicking focal point, or you can replace or delete the photo. You can also change the size of this page into a short cover or a split layout if you want two pieces of content side by side. This just divides your pages in half and you can add a photo on one side and your chosen content on the other. Adobe Express sites are made up of multiple sections or pages combined into a one-page scrollable website. You'll see if you scroll down, there's another plus sign. This is the button that you'll use each time you want to add a new section to your site. There are seven layout options to choose from here. They are photo, text, button, video, photo grid, glide show, and split layout. Click on text and a toolbar with formatting options will appear. Heading one for titles and heading two for subtitles. Quote, which specially formats text with large quotation marks and is perfect for things like testimonials bolded list and numbered lists for any list, bold and italic to place emphasis on different words or sections, link to create a hyperlink by highlighting any section of your text, clicking the link button and pasting the URL you want to link to, left align, center align, and right align to change the alignment of any text. Keep in mind that any list text or quote text alignment will be locked to the left side of the page. Clicking photo will open the same stock photo menu as before. Once you've selected your photo, a couple options will appear when it loads on your page. Inline is the default way that photos appear, centered on your page. Fill screen will make the photo the same size as the window it's being viewed in. 
just like your first page. Window makes the photo's width the same as the screen, but only shows a slice of it as you scroll. This option works well if you want something like a title to stand out. Lastly, full width displays the photo at its original ratio, so chances are it will be bigger than full screen, especially if you're using a portrait-oriented photo. You'll notice in the bottom right corner of every photo there is a gear icon. Clicking this will allow you to add alt text, which will help to improve the accessibility of your page. You can also add a caption to go alongside your photo. Adobe Express has two other options for displaying images. If you click on the plus sign again and choose Photo Grid, the same photo menu will appear, but this time you are able to upload or select as many images as you'd like. They'll appear on screen in the order that you selected them. When you click on one, you'll be able to replace it, toggle its size between small and large, change its order in the grid by clicking the left or right arrows, or delete it. Once you're happy with how your grid looks, click Save in the top right corner and it will appear in line on your web page. The last photo option here is called a Glide Show. It is a feature that is quite unique to Adobe Express. This option works best when you use a photo as a background and add text or images over top. Choose Glide Show from the plus menu and select or upload your photos in the same way as before. Keep in mind that Glide Shows are full screen and can be quite a strong visual feature. So try to select relatively simple images that look nice together as they will glide seamlessly into one another. Once you've chosen your images, click Save in the top right corner. When the Glide Show appears on your page, you'll notice a grayed out box over the image. This is where you'll add any foreground content. Click on the plus sign here to add any photos, text, buttons, or videos. Your window will be aligned to the left by default, but you can always drag it to the center or right of the background image. To add a button or a video, click your respective buttons on the plus side toolbar. A pop-up will appear with the space to enter your chosen URL. For a button, you can choose the text that will appear on the button as well as the alignment on the page. For a video, you cannot upload directly from your computer. You will have to upload the video to a site such as YouTube, Vimeo, or Adobe Express Video. As mentioned earlier, you can change your theme at any time. You can also view what your finished website will look like to a user at any time by clicking the preview button on the top menu bar. In this same menu, you can also set up Google Analytics for your website by clicking Settings. You can go through your web page like a slideshow by clicking Present. And lastly, there is Share. When you click the Share button, you have the option for Print. If you want to print your website or save it as a PDF, Send to Google Drive, Invite if you want to add collaborators to work on the website with you, and lastly, to Publish and Share link. This is what we're going to use to publish our finished website. Click Publish and Share link and a pop-up menu will appear. Here you can decide the title of the site and the category, as well as if you want to display the authors along with the list of photo credits if you used any stock images. There's also the option to allow Adobe to potentially feature your work on their website. Once you're done here, click Publish and Adobe will generate a link for you to share with the world. One important thing to remember about Adobe Express is that your website will not automatically update. Every time you make a change, you'll need to click Publish and Share again and click Update Link for Adobe to generate a new link for you to use. You now have a fully functioning website that you can continue to edit and approve upon. For a more in-depth look at the features of Adobe Express, check out the Digital Portfolio series on the Learning Portal.